Okay, before I start today's emulation station desktop edition video, if you like what you see, stay hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming emulation content on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a setup guide, plus it helps my channel out too. So this is the second update video I've uploaded today. I uploaded the latest LaunchBox version earlier on as a quick note to LaunchBox users. And this one's obviously for emulation stations. So we're gonna head over to the website and this has just been updated to version 3.02. Uh, if you're new to Emulation Station Desktop Edition, it's a front end for Windows, Linux, Mac, OS, and Android. Now, if you're planning on using the Android version of Emulation Station Desktop Edition, or ESDE, you can only use this if you subscribe with the creator's Patreon page, as it says just here. It's a very good front end, and I've covered this one in a lot. In fact, I did a full setup guide for the previous version of this, so I'm going to leave that in my description. So if you're interested in Emulation Station Desktop Edition, which is, of course, free for Windows, you can follow that guide. But if we just scroll down, we can actually check out the log just here. So latest version 3.0.2, uh, which was released a couple of days ago. Uh, if we go to the change log just here, we'll be able to find out which changes has been made to this version. So we got the usual improvements and bug fixes, and we got lots of different additions for the Android version of this just here. Now, interestingly, Lime 3DS standalone has just been added for the Nintendo 3DS system, as it says. And if we scroll down a bit further for MAME fans, it's also added an update for MAME index files to include ROMs up to MAME version 0.265, which I'm pretty sure is the latest release of main ROM sets as I record in this video. Bug fixes, so like I say, this particular update is very good for Android users of this front end system. As it says, on Android 10, the Orphan Data Cleanup Utility removed media files which should not now have been removed. So really good bug fixes there for Android users of ESDE. So what I'm going to do then is, like I say, just a heads up for Emulation Station Desktop Edition users out there and those who subscribe to my channel, just so you know that there's an update. I'm going to leave the link in my description at the top so you can actually follow the setup guide, which is going to get you up and running with Emulation Station. It's one of the front ends that I've actually mentioned in my top five personal favorite front end systems. Like I say, ESDE is absolutely free for Windows. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content on my channel. Also join me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.